Hey guys, it's Jen and welcome back to Sim Airport. So last episode we added two more aircraft gates, which means more planes, which means more money, which I, I'm not going to complain about more money. And we also added more foundation, obviously, because we had to add the two uh, aircraft gates. And I also worked on the um, baggage hub. And also somebody, let me know in the comments, thank you, that I didn't actually connect this ticketing desk to anything. So let's go ahead and do that right now. There we go. Also, while looking back at my video, I noticed that this part right here, these thingies right here, uh, where the arrows are, they're two spaces apart, which is just enough to have ticketing desks right next to each other. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to revamp the ticketing area, make it look nice and cozy and welcoming, and everybody's going to want to sleep there. But anyway, um, I am going to go ahead and just change everything up, maybe add a bunch of ticketing desks. We can probably add eight in total. We have six right now, and if I move everything where they need to go, then we probably can have eight in total. So I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. All right, so they're all being dismantled. Then I can just go ahead and do this, like so. Why can't I place that? What? what, what why can't I place that there? Is it because of the conveyor belts? Are the conveyor belts really? Oh my gosh! All right, well, all of this can go. That can all go away. I don't really care for any of that. I have to redo it anyway. So, let's go ahead and get some ticketing desks. Ticketing desks. There we go. Making it look nice and fancy. No one can uh, actually use that kiosk now, so I have to kind of have to remove these. But you know what? We'll place them somewhere else. Like I said, we're, we're revamping the area, all right? We're probably going to add, um, what should we add here? Because I, I want to put something here because then that would just look really weird. Can we place a door there? But that, would, that would look even weirder, wouldn't it? No? Whatever. That's fine. It's fine for now. We need to hire more staff, I think, as well because we only have enough to fill out six desks. So we need to have three more staff hires. Let's go ahead and do that right now. Staff. One, two, three. Where are you guys going? I guess, all right, you didn't want to be a ticketer? It's fine. You know, ticketing is a great job, all right? Everyone who has worked for me in ticketing, they love it. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and do the conveyor lines now. So let's go ahead and go to utilities, conveyor lines, and now we can just do a direct line like that. See? Look how much cleaner that is. When you have them all lined up like this. Wait, whoa, wait a second. I did it wrong. Right, let's go ahead and dismantle all of these. I need to move them all over by one square ticketing. Nope, wrong button. Ticketing desk. There we go. So these be moved over by one. There we go. Now that should work. Hopefully, that should be right. If it's not, then I don't know. I don't know what to say. But yep. All right, that's perfectly fine. That's where it's supposed to be. And there we go. It's all connected. Now there is this one little space here. But we'll just make it look beautiful with a nice set of, of bushes, like this. Where should we go with this one? That can only be placed outside. Alright, some nice roses here. Another set of roses right here. And I, I don't know what to put in this one square right here. A fountain? Fountains do not fit there, Jen. Don't be an idiot. So we are now making a lot of money. Like, we almost have a million. Well, we have a little more than half a million dollars. We're really close to a million. We're only like 400,000 away, so... We're more than halfway there, and I really want to get to a million dollars. I want to be a, a millionaire, and I'm probably going to spend it all in one day if I ever do become, become a millionaire. But anyway, let's go ahead and add like a little area for ticketing kiosks. So what we are going to do, hmm, we need to add some walls real quick. I'm going to make this foundation. No, no, not foundation. Actually, I want walls. Walls, right? And then what we're going to do is we are going to... Hmm. I didn't plan this out, but by the way, in case you guys didn't know, <laughs> I have no idea what I wanted to do. I had I had an idea in my head, and then I'm like, you know, what, is that right? That's probably not right. That's probably not a good idea. And now, now I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to do. See, in an actual airport, from the airports that I've gone to, like I said, the airports that I've gone to aren't exactly you know top of the line stuff. But um, what they usually did was they had like an entire row of ticketing desks, right? And then like right outside of security, they would have um three or four or five or just a giant row of ticketing kiosks and from there we we can buy our tickets or we can check in with our tickets get them printed out and then immediately just go to security so can we have more than one ticketing area because then i want to do a ticketing area down here next to uh oh we can can we oh we can all right so let's go ahead and remove that which means all right i have two options here <laughs> i can either make it so the security area is now over here, and leave the ticketing area over here. Like I'm gonna remove this, which I'm gonna leave that for now. But eventually, remove this, uh, 
make the female restroom on the outside over here and leave this entire area for security, which is probably what I'm going to do. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and remove everything from here. So just clear this entire area. Wait a second. We can't do that yet because we can't just leave people without a bathroom. We need, we need foundation. We need to make it look like the bathroom never left. So like that. Wait, no, wait. Cancel, cancel, cancel. Ooh, that would have been bad. All right. Like that. There we go. All right, now that the room is done, we just got to remove whatever is inside. We got to remove all these walls. We don't need any walls, all right? We got to put down the walls that separate us, all right? No walls anywhere like that. Good. And the bathroom looks kind of big, but you know what? It is what it is. We're going to go ahead and get some female restroom right here. And right here. There we go. What's wrong here? Oh, all right. Never mind. Then I guess it's fine. And now we have to move all the toilets, all the toilets over here. So we'll put every toilet like this alongside the wall. And we're going to need a wall there. So let's go ahead and get, just go ahead and plop out a wall from storage. Wait, wall. Plop out a wall. Bam. Wait. Wait, wait a second. Wait a second, guys. Bam. Bam. Done. We also need a door. Door. And now we need some more toilets. Toilet. Everybody gets a toilet. Toilet. Free toilets. And finally, a sink. Well, not not a sink. We need more than one sink. We are not having a lot. Oh, that, no, it does not go there. Right, right there. All right, and now we can finally remove this bathroom that's in the way. Clear. Clear all that. Get that all out of there. We also have to put in some some tiles, all right? We can't have people walking on cement. What the, it's not going to destroy the, the, the sinks and stuff, right? I don't think it destroys sinks when I put in flooring, but I don't know. Last time it took down, it took, it took down a bunch of walls putting in tiles. So, I mean, I don't I don't know. I don't know. I forgot I forgot what happens when I put in floors. Uh, so, we're going to go with a... I forgot which tile. Was it this tile? I think it was this tile right here. Hopefully, this doesn't destroy everything. And right there. That should be good, right? Hopefully. If it's not, then... We're down a few toilets and sinks. All right. What already exists? You already exist, sir. Don't tell me what already exists. I can see what exists. And this carpet does not exist in that area. I'm also going to move this large sliding door over here. I'm going to slide the sliding door over over here. We're, we almost had a million dollars. Anyway, getting distracted. So move this door up here. And then I'm going to start the um, the new security area right below the, the, the ticketing area. Which then lets me put a bunch of ticketing kiosks right next to the queue for the security area. And it's going to look real nice. I'm going to do like what I did, what I did for uh, the last series of Sim Airport where I had, um, I think it was a, it was a pretty big security area, right? And I think, I think I had body scanners and metal detectors. The one thing I don't like about body scanners and metal detectors is that they do the same thing. So it's like, there's really no reason to have body scanners unless you like, just like the look of body scanners over metal detectors, because I think metal detectors are cheaper. Wait, let me go ahead and see real quick. Metal detectors, you are. 2800 and body scanners are 51 yeah so it, it they do they do the same exact thing and you don't need both it, it doesn't improve security of the airport it's just more like if you like the look of a body scanner you get a body scanner you know what i mean we don't care all right we're we're trying to save money you know um we do want people to feel safe but so far there haven't been any accidents and the metal detectors have been doing their job, and the body scanners have been doing great, and the ID check stands have been checking IDs like it's no, one, no one's business. So, we are going to go ahead and just stick with what we've been doing, and move that, that's a lot of people, move this large sliding door up. So let's go ahead and grab a large sliding door, large sliding door, put you over here, there we go, and then remove this one. And just put up a wall. We also need to put down some windows. Now that we actually have windows, we need to put down some windows. Let's go ahead and window. Can I just put down windows on top of walls? Oh, I can. All right, cool. Let's go ahead and put down some uh, some windows like right here. Right there. That is that, that is not even, Jen. That's four over there. One, two, three, four. So this right there. That's a lot of windows. Then again, airports tend to have really large windows anyway. If they have walls made of windows, I guess they would just be called windows at that point, huh? 
So never mind. I guess they wouldn't be called uh, walls. All right. So, and is that four? It's five. Four. There we go. Now one more over here. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. So right there. Easy. Easy. Now the airport looks suddenly ten times to twenty times better than it was before. Windows really opened up the place, you know. Anyway, windows right there. And now we're set. We're golden. Looks beautiful. Add some more windows right there. Oh man, if this place was any more beautiful, it'd win a freaking beauty pageant. Anyway. Let's go ahead and get started on the new security area. We also need to work on a baggage claim area because everyone in their muddle, mother, their, everyone in their muddle, <laughs> and their mother is huddling up around the baggage claim area. And have you guys found your luggage yet? I have no idea if any. I'm, I'm, they're still standing there, so I'm assuming they haven't found it yet. Um. Anyway, yeah, we also need some more ticketing desks. It looks like, which I don't want to add because it's a lot of work, and I'm not, I'm not down for that work life. Anyway, um. Yeah, let's go ahead and start working on the security area. All right, now we need to add a queue. So let's go ahead. Is this, was this the start? Was it the other way around? Was the red dot where it ends and then the very back of it is where it starts? I think, I, I don't remember. I think it was. So let me, let me make the security area first. Actually, I don't even think I need a queue for security to be honest. I think I just, you could just put a bunch of ID checks in and stuff and be perfectly fine. So. Whatever, let's go ahead and put down an ID check stand. Nope, that is not where ID check stands go. ID check stands. Put down a bunch of these. It's like an army of ID check stands. One, two, three, four, five, so that's five, six, and then one, two, three, four, five, six. Then one, two, three. Oh, that is, that is perfect. All right, so, um, I can probably just, if I, I can add more, if I do like, two here and two here then leave one space in the middle because i'm not sure i don't think they go through oh they, do, they, they just go through it all right never mind we're just gonna have a giant wall of id check stands we're gonna make sure everybody knows are you kidding me they all left the baggage scanners to go and be id check is the, is it really that much better to be an id check person all right look yeah scan the bags because then what, what's the point of id check stands if we can't have anybody check the bags people do your jobs and now we need a bunch of baggage ba baggage scanners. Where are the baggage scanners? Bag scanners? Oh, yeah, they're just called bag scanners. All right, bag. Not not bass. We're not going fishing. Baggage scanners. And which way is it? As we pointing the exit. So let's go ahead and do it like this. You know what? Let's just add body scanners instead of metal detectors. Why not? There's a bunch of these. All of these. Okay, all the body scanners we can get. Uh, that's the wrong direction, Jen. There's one direction it can go, and that is the wrong direction. No, you do not finish that body scanner. You listen to me. You just, he didn't listen to me. You, why would you start? I'm over here complaining about it, and you keep doing it. All right, so I just realized something. Because we have a door right here, although people probably won't go in through there, we have no security stopping them from going in through there. So what I have to do is actually move this large sliding door um, over here somewhere. Or they can just all leave through the through the top sliding door, so they would have to go through here to go, to, to leave the airport, which is gonna gonna be kind of annoying. There'll be a bunch of people just slamming into each other, but you know what? You gotta do that, all right? We gotta protect everybody. So remove the door. And put did I did I remove the door yet? Did I did I tell them that yet, or did I not? I I forgot what I said. All right, I did. All right, now I gotta remove the wall or put down a wall, not remove it. Put down the wall like. That's there we go. We're set. And we don't have enough staff. Alright, never mind. We're not set. Alright. Bunch of security. Bunch of security. There we go. Everybody gets a security officer. Personalized security training. Alright. Is 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 every baggage scanner fine? Does everybody have one? Every body scanner has one. But is every bag scanner? I can't tell. Are you all alright? Each one has one. Each of you have one. All right, so new security area is set. We're done. Easy, easy peasy. I almost forgot the entire reason I did this was to make it so kiosks can have a nicer place. Because right now the the ticketing desks are being flooded, and no one's using the, the the kiosks anyway. Should I even bother with that? Like everyone and their mother is going to talk to an actual person instead of to a machine. I also notice that everyone's throwing their like gum wrappers and chip bags on the floor. So let's go ahead and. 
add some more garbage bins. I don't know why I never thought about putting garbage bins out. Like, why why am I so dumb? Uh, let's go ahead and put a garbage bin next to the gate agents. There you go. If anybody needs to throw out their garbage, I should probably like, do it like this instead, actually. Like, right next to it, like that. Makes it look kind of nicer. All right, well, you guys go ahead and just ignore me then. That's fine. That's cool. All right, so... New idea that just hit me while I was placing down all the um the garbage bins. I could actually just put them next to the uh, the windows, so people will you know when they go out to throw out their gum wrapper or whatever, or spit out their gum, they get a great view of an airplane leaving. Or over here, they get a great p view of grass growing. So if you're into you know gardens and lawns, then we got you covered. You know, don't worry about it. Anyway, so uh, what we should probably do now, I guess I can get started on the cafe. Should I start working on that right now? Oh, my voice. Oh, gosh, my voice. Please don't leave me now. Um, I can probably get started on the cafe and make it, like, over here, like, right at the entrance. But the issue with that is if I make it right at the entrance, people who have their, um, in the future, who have all their rides or whatever, all their, their planes, all their flights on the very, very end of the airport, they're not going to be able to get any food because there's just not going to be enough time unless they come in really, really early. And we don't want people to come in early. We want people to come in right before they're about to board. That way, you know, we don't have an entire um, airport full of people to take care of. But whatever. What we can do is later on, we'll start making multiple cafes down the line. Or we can just start adding kiosks inside the hallways so that people can just grab something while they're on, on the go, you know. So, I don't know. For right now, we're just going to go ahead and make an area for a cafe, and then, um, yeah, that, that'll that be it. Alright, so the main area where all the kiosks and all the chairs and the tables are going to be, that's done. That's set. We do need to have an area for a kitchen, I believe. Do we still need to make a kitchen? Yeah, we still need to make a kitchen. So, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a small area. How big does a kitchen need to be? Does it, does it say? Nope, it just enclosed space. Alright, so... We are going to add a kitchen area that's going to be um, over here on the side, like right here. And then in the future, uh, let me make it a little bigger like this. Yes, that's fine. In the future, what I'll do is the baggage claim area is going to go down from here and this entire area right here and this entire area over here and all the way down here. All of this down here, once I start making more aircraft gates um, and I need more baggage claim area, and more pathways. This is all gonna be baggage claim and just an exit and it's gonna be nice and cozy and warm and toasty. So that's gonna be great. But for right now, we don't need any of that. We do need a wall though to separate the kitchen so people don't randomly walk into the kitchen. We can have windows there. It can be like a hibachi restaurant where people can see um, us microwaving their pizza that they ordered. Um, but I don't think anybody wants to see that. So. Whatever, for now, we're just going to go ahead and um, start working on the kitchen. So this is going to be the kitchen, kitchen, and then we need to add a cafe. This is going to be the cafe. Can we put kiosks in the, ca in the cafe? I think I can. I have no idea if I can, but I'm going to do that anyway. So uh, we also need to add a door. Do no, no that, that's not a door. Door. There we go. Door. And now that that's done, what else do we need? We need a pizza oven, fridge, prep, oh gosh, prep cart, cooker, and kitchen sink. I hate hiccups. Um, prep cart. We're going to add two of those in the corner. Uh, a cooker. Yeah, cooker. So we need to add, let's add two of these over here. A kitchen sink. We're going to have one kitchen sink to wash all those nasty dishes right here in the middle. And, of course, the room's not even, so that wouldn't look right, uh, I guess. No, it is not even. It looks really weird now. It's bothering me. We're just going to put it right there at the entrance. People can come in just immediately wash their hands. And we're also going to add some kitchen storage over here. Right there in the corners. Not in the corner. I guess that wall over there. What else do we need? Can you let me know what else we need? Kitchen? Speak to me. Refridge. Orator. <laughs> I don't know why I stopped that. Why I stopped that. Refridge. Um, refrigerator, pizza oven, and kitchen sink. Don't we have these? Are those done? Yes. All right. So now we just need a fridge and a pizza oven. So... Refrigerator. We can put that right next to the kitchen sinks. So people can wash their hands and then grab tomatoes to put on frozen pizza. And a pizza oven. We're going to have a giant row of pizza ovens. There we go. Now we need a register to make this place look like an actual restaurant. 
Um, we're just going to add a, an entire row of registers down here. So people come down here, they make their order, and then... Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. They just come down here, make their order. We're going to add one little room over there so people can actually, you know, come in and out. Or the workers can. They can go in and out from behind the um the register. So how many staff do we need for that? That's a lot of staff or food workers. We need a lot of food workers. So, um, hmm. Do we need to assign all of these? I need to assign all of these to a cafe. Oh, I don't. All right, good. I need to assign them all to a kitchen? No, that's going to take forever. All right, well, I signed up for this. All right, so that's done. Now we need some... Cafe chairs and some cafe tables thingy. Yeah, cafe tables. All right, so do we have any, like, luxury tables? Because we have these luxury chairs, but, like, it's not the same. They all, wait, they're the same price. Is one comfier? I would, I would rather sit in this cushioned seat than a wind seat. I don't want my butt to ache, all right? So let's go ahead and, hmm. We also need to add some kiosks. Let's add some kiosks first. Before I start placing down where all the tables are, Let's add some kiosks. So, a desert kiosk, a desert kiosk, a dessert kiosk. Oh man, we're not serving lizards over here. All right, a dessert kiosk, a coffee kiosk. We're gonna add it like we're gonna make them kind of spaced out all over the place, so people can like a health kiosk for those that want to have a salad, I guess. <laughs> a snack kiosk for those that don't want to have salads, and that's gonna be pretty much it. We can add another health kiosk. Actually, I'm going to add another snack kiosk because I know everyone here loves their freaking snacks. So, and um, what else do we have here? Uh, we need, oh, now we need the tables and chairs. I didn't do those yet. All right, so tables, we're going to add one, two, three, four. Oh, everyone's already eating here. Oh, welcome, welcome. One, two, three. Wait, one, two. One, two. My voice is cracking a lot. I'm not sure why. Oh, oh gosh. I think in the future they should add larger tables, like ones that cover up, like, well, in this case, you can see how, how I'm doing, like, four spots. Ones that cover up, like, two or four spots. Like, longer tables, pretty much, right? Um, so that it can sit more than two people at one. Because I understand, like, each table is supposed to sit... Like, it's, it's, a, it's a small round table, so... I don't know. I don't know. I want bigger tables, is what, is what I'm trying to say, all right? <laughs> no staff. You're, you're no staff. Why would you come down here, wait for... All right, you know what? You want staff? I'll give you staff. Yeah, we're flooding, we're flooding the place with staff. There we go, you happy? Look how much staff we have. Are we good? Everybody fine? Everybody happy? Hire some more staff just in case. We're good? What do you mean no staff? Are you, are you blind? Do you not see all the people in pink and red? We should be wearing purple, by the way, just saying. Look at them all get to work. They're like chopping up dough. Aw. We also need, um, I think we need more refrigerators, just, just so you all know. Just in case, I think we're... It's only been like five minutes and we, we've gone through like a majority of our pizzas, so... Yeah. Alright, so we finished the cafe. We can probably add some plants and stuff to make it look nicer. We, sh we should also probably like up here, over here, right here, make this area like a kitchen storage area with like a bunch of fr uh, fridges and, um, well, kitchen storage shelves because... Right now, it looks like we're running out of food really fast, so let's go ahead and just do that real quick. Alright, so the new area is done being built. I'm just going to go ahead and add um, all the kitchen storage stuff real quick. So we need some of these. Like this. Actually, these aren't as popular, so let's go ahead and we're going to remove these. And we're going to place down the kitchen storage. We're going to add one, two, three. Three. That should be enough, yeah. Three should be enough. And then we're going to add some refrigerators. Right here, one, two, three, four. Just I'm I'm not sure why I'm counting this. I'm, I'm gonna fill the entire wall with these. I also need to expand this area so that it actually unites with this. And there we go. Now we're set. Everybody can go ahead and make all the food they want. All right, guys. So I finished the cafe. So I'm gonna end the video off here. Let me know if you want to see some more Sim Airport videos. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Comment, like, and subscribe for more Sim Airport videos. And I'll be seeing you guys soon.